Ever wonder what people add on to their searches? Well, semantic search is a great way to find out, and I'm going to show you that today. So today we're going to talk about semantics, right? That sounds really interesting. Let's make this just a little more interesting. It's also the searches related to. When you go in and search for a word, you see those drop downs. Let's talk about what you're seeing there. So let's say that I'm a taco truck owner and I want to start blogging. I don't know what concepts I'm going to talk about, but I'm going to guess at my first one, which is going to be taco recipe. Okay, now what do I write? I could make up a bunch of stuff about tacos and my mom and the authenticity of those tacos and that's all good, but that's not necessarily findable. So when we're thinking about what are the things that are in a taco recipe? And we're just gonna guess right now. So I'm gonna say meat, sour cream, salsa, and tortilla. Now, I would be probably pretty right if I'm gonna write a, a blog post on taco recipe, then yeah, it'd probably be a good idea for me to talk about those things. But I don't really know if anyone cares about them. Like what way do they care about these? And so as business owners, oftentimes we live inside our little bubble and we're like, okay, I'm gonna talk about these things and I'm gonna buy tacotastic.com and I'm gonna have my tacotastic book and I'll have my tacotastic keynote, okay? Now I made up tacotastic and then I have to go out there and work it. I gotta get it on billboards, I gotta get it out there. And unfortunately that's expensive and time consuming. As a business owner, we don't have either of those things. So we have to be more strategic than guessing. So I want you to write this down. Guessing is expensive. And the less we have to guess, the quicker our marketing is going to take traction. Let me show you. Okay, so I'm gonna sit down and Google and I'm ready to write my taco recipe. Now I wanna check in with who cares. Who cares, what and how do they care? So I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna type in taco recipe. Oh look, and as I write, you'll see that we've got these recommendations. We see taco recipe beef, steak, chicken, easy, turkey, ground beef, tasty pork ideas, and fish. Those are good guesses, but if I'm gonna do it right, I'm not gonna guess. All right, let's try this again. What am I going to talk about that is connected? Remember, we wanna connect we want to put our ear to the ground and we want to listen. We want to listen. You need to be a chief listening officer. You've got to put your ear to the ground and listen to what people are telling us based on what you see in Google here. Okay, now I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom. Oh, look at these, even better. These are the questions that people are asking of Google around taco recipes. So if I'm going to stop guessing, then I'm also going to answer some of these questions. And the questions are, how do you make perfect tacos? What makes a taco a taco? What ground beef is best for tacos? And how do you make brown taco meat? Interesting. Anyway, sometimes you see some pretty random stuff in here too. So pick a couple of these and answer them in your content. When you're writing a blog or a page on a website or a post, think about all the things that you as a taco recipe expert Experts know experts. Experts keep their ear to the ground and they know what people are saying. So as opposed to guessing about all this, now I'm gonna create a blog post that's gonna talk about pork variants, less than in five minutes. Here's three or four ways to repurpose that pork meat. And I'm also gonna answer your most frequently asked questions. That's how I'm going to write my blog post. Not based on what I'm guessing, not based on phrases that are inside my bubble, but phrases that I call street language right? Street language, what people are currently searching for. And the great thing about looking at Google search results is that they give you a treasure trove of ideas. If we don't tap into that, then that's on us. So you want to make sure that when you're writing, you're grabbing those questions, keep going all the way down. Ooh, look at this one. I have, ooh, authentic. I'm going to add that in. That's a good one. Authentic. Okay. Now we're going to go for soft, crispy. Ooh, I like that. Crispy. What else? Of course, Mexican. Hello. And of course, cerveza and margaritas might be over right here. <laughs> My nice little margarita with the salt on the rim. Okay. So now I am prepared to sit down and write a piece of content that is connected. 
I know all the topics based on semantic search or searches related to at the bottom of the page. I'm going to grab those questions. I'm going to answer those questions I said earlier. Now when I go to write any piece of copy, I have done my homework. Because remember, I'm not going to guess anymore. I'm going to put it into Google. I'm going to look for the questions and I'm going to look for the recommendations. I am connected with what is the current language around that keyword. The more I connect with this language, the faster this is going to rank under the word taco recipe. That's the good stuff. If you love this YouTube video, don't forget, I'm on other social media sites. You can follow me on Instagram at findability underscore university, at Heather Lutze on Twitter, and we're also on Facebook. So wherever you're hanging out, we want you to join us. Hopefully you've been enjoying all these tips about how to be the most findable business online. You can do it. And I'm going to show you all along the way.